Hi Libra, welcome to your November 2019 general love reading. This is Mermaid Scales Tarot. Libra, you might notice for some of my OG subscribers, um, I have a different setup right now. I am watching my mom's house, so she does have a little bit of rowdy dogs. If they start barking, at best, take that as confirmation. At worst, I'm so sorry. I will pause the video and then rejoin you guys. So if you hear barking, I do apologize, but I thank you for your understanding and patience. So let's get on with it. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, a Libra. And this is also an addition. I've added Jupiter and or stellium of Libra. This isn't going to resonate with every Libra. That's just not possible. Um, I do set the intentions for during these readings, um, the messages that are said are really the ones that need to be heard. So if this doesn't resonate with you, Libra, I suggest checking your other signs and different placements to see if those signs resonate with you more than your sun sign during this time. Also, hi Cross Watcher, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Libra. Just please keep in mind Libra and Cross Watcher, I am picking up on energies and energy is very fluid. So if you feel like I'm explaining a certain situation and the roles should be reversed, please feel free to use your discretion and to flip the roles should you feel that way. You're absolutely allowed to do that. Finally, we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within us. When I'm saying feminine or masculine, I'm not referring to the gender or the sex. I'm referring to the energy. If anything is gender or sex specific, I will let you know. Okay, Libra. Some messages came in. Um, I see a lot of things sometimes during the messages and everything I saw was very visual for you. One thing I saw was white wings. Um, and to me, it, I felt more like angel wings. So I do feel like uh, strongly you're being divinely guided towards someone or something, a relationship in particular. Um, almost as if you like hear this person's name quite frequently um smells or someone on tv or someone says something that reminds you of this person um that's because i feel strongly that you're being divinely guided towards that person um others of you i i did see an image of a stone bridge which is kind of strange um I do feel like at this time, maybe you haven't even met that person yet. Maybe they're going to come into your life very soon. Um, but the stone bridge I kind of saw is that you're on one side and this person's on the other and you guys are going to come and meet at that midpoint. Um, I do strongly feel like there's some sort of divine counterpart union coming into play here for you, Libra. Um, again, whether you met this person or you're going to meet them very, very soon, I knew I was picking up on the last reading, so, you know, energy is fluid just like time is fluid. So, um, you know, depending on where you are energetically, something may happen to you sooner or later. Last but not least, really weirdly, I picked up on vanilla ice cream. I don't know if that's going to relate to anyone. If you're eating vanilla ice cream, just ate vanilla ice cream. That's your favorite flavor. I don't know. It came up. Maybe you're wearing vanilla scent. And I also heard sweet pea. Really weirdly. Um... So I don't know if you like sweet peas, you that's one of your nicknames, or you nickname someone that, or like that's a scent of your lotion, not sure, maybe someone's grown sweet peas. Those were the messages that came through the reading, but let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say. I'm seeing those white wings again, very strongly. Um... I don't know if there's someone that you recently lost, Libra, and if that's the case, you have my condolences, um, but I do strongly feel like they're part of your soul tribe or your guides that are guiding you towards the love that you've been seeking and waiting for, for those of you that that re resonates with. Angels, spirits, and guides. 
please provide the first card for Libra, the Emperor. Okay, Libra. Strong energy coming off the bat. Ooh, the King and the Queen of Swords. I knew this was a divine counterpart reading. Mm, I called it. Wow. Libra, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could have that somewhere in your chart. You could be dealing with a water sign. doesn't have to be. There's a whole lot of love here. A whole lot of love. Um, I do feel this very nurturing energy coming from this card right now as if if i don't know if um for those of you who have passed down loved ones that was a water sign or just this very nurturing kind loving person that just came naturally to them they didn't have to try to be nice they were naturally very kind-hearted people um who maybe just are the ones that are guiding you during this time Maybe it's a mother figure, grandmother figure of some sort, or someone just who's very naturally mothering. Um, and if that's not the case, I do feel like someone really wants to give and prove and show how much they love someone else. But I do have to say for a small amount of you, there's a risk of over showing, over coddling, um, that this person, I feel either whether it's you, Libra, or this other person, someone is not used to being shown this, some, this sort of affection. I don't know if I'm picking up on something of abandonment issues, but if that's not even resonating near you, it's just someone is not used to such affectionate love. And it's kind of throwing people off a bit because it's nothing they ever experienced before. It's kind of similar to the cancer reading, so if you're involved with the cancer, if you have cancer in your chart, I'd go ahead and check that out, but um, strong, strong affection here. Let's go ahead and clarify. Ooh, yep, <laughs> the Page of Pentacles wanted to pop out. So this person can be younger than you, Libra. You can be younger than this other person you're connecting with. Um, but if that's not the case, there's a serious interest here. And they want to take the time to get to know you more because they see that you're worth the investment. Interesting. So what fell on the ground? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So this is, this is interesting. So it's like as if they have that want that yearning to start growing to start expanding to start planting the seeds so that harvest can come in someone feels like someone else is not putting in the work though that they want i'm almost getting this fear either whether it's from you libra or it's from this other person of unrequited love and especially with this Queen of Cups here, there may be some sort of risk of showing too much and not giving someone else enough time to process in their own way of how they want to move things forward. But with everything I see in the cards, Libra, from where I'm standing and looking at this spread, I do see there's a lot of love here, Libra or Cross Watcher. Um, but the thing is, is that, again, the more you try to pursue, the more you try to, um, shower with love, devotion, attention, make sure that doesn't come off as neediness. Um, make sure that doesn't come off as, um, you know, putting too much in because, the, again, this person's just not used to that sort of affection or Libra whoever's watching this is not used to that sort of affection so there is a need here to 
let things work out in the way that should naturally and not trying to overforce a certain connection from going at the speed or at the rate that you feel like it should be going at this time. But there's definite interest here. Definite interest. At the soul of this, we have the Emperor. So this is the card of Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries or you could have it somewhere in your chart. But really what's I'm feeling strongly from here is a strong authoritative energy of someone who gets what they want, works hard for what they want, is very responsible. They are very good fathers or very good, um, they have the qualities that one can see as in a good father, but that's a message for someone out there. Generally, the energy of this, regardless of sex or gender, is someone who really takes control and puts to action. I'm feeling strongly though, Libra, that this is the energy of the person you're dealing with. And that's what's attracted you so much to them is this masculine energy, this go-getter, work hard, um, you know, work hard, do well, take care of shit, you know, take care of shit, like, handle all the work that needs to be handled and still stand strong, still sit comfy in their chair. Um, they run shit. This could be like a CEO, this could be an entrepreneur, or this could be someone who's just been doing what they've been doing in their business or in their life for a very long time to while they're very well established, very well known. But from most of this energy I'm getting, Libra, is someone who's holding a lot back. Again, I'm not getting a lovey-dovey energy here. I'm getting a very stern, almost King of Swordsy energy, which we have on the spread. Um... But someone who, who's like a rock. Someone who isn't open to devotion. Um, doesn't show that sensitive, sweet, kind, caring side. And Libra, I feel like for some of you, because of that reason, it's making you a bit confused. Or a bit worried or anxious about if this person really does like you or care for you as much as you care for them. Others of you, I'm picking up on this energy that this is them being confused over you, Libra, as if they've never felt this way, um, had this emotion come over them that you have had given them. You know what I mean? Like, almost as if like they never thought they would feel this way about someone and maybe for a lot of them they never thought about marriage they never thought about commitment until there was you libra i am getting the sense of someone who does like to party a lot like work hard play hard type of thing i do have a sense of warning someone though that make sure that play hard isn't like too much to the other side of the field like too much drinking, too much sex involved, that's not for everyone. But really I'm just getting the sense of confusion coming from this emperor because of this connection. This awakening of emotions that's happened within this emperor. Let's go ahead though and clarify the moon. Honestly, I'm almost getting like this is confusing both of you which is very common in divine counterpart journeys. Um, this sense of, are they for me? Are they not for me? But I feel them. I have this strong psychic energetic connection with them. Um, definitely can come from the moon as well. As if like, why can't I stop thinking of them? Like usually I'm not this type of person that really thinks about someone all day and night or whatever have you, especially at night. Okay. 
someone's visiting someone's Instagram or Facebook profile late at night. Alright. Yeah, Page of Wands. It's a couple of pages in here. So either Libra, you have children, maybe with this person, maybe this person or you have children separate from each other. Doesn't have to be that. What I'm really getting is when can we really express how we feel without feeling like I have to hide anything? Without feeling like if I were to say how I feel about you, that would show some sort of vulnerability which would equal a weakness, which it doesn't. I'm getting this sense of feeling from either both parties or one party's involved in this that showing your emotions, showing your affections is wild. It's not practical. It's, um, you know, more of a fantasy to really go off of how you feel and what, where your heart's leading to um, than being pragmatic, than looking at things objectively, subjectively. But someone really is fighting the urge to express that emotion, express that passion. I kind of want to get one more card for the moon. Also, some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Specifically Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. Why is the moon here? Spirit. I'm almost getting the sense where it's like this really strong masculine is meeting this really strong feminine with the moon here. And it's like this powerful force, these two strong energies of feminine and masculine are really coming together. And at first it seems shocking. At first it seems like kind of shook a little bit of a feeling there. But once that kind of resides, once that waters off the duck's back, then things will start growing. Things will start prospering. Knight of Cups. Up exactly what I was saying. Someone is confused about whether there's a lack of expression, lack of passion, even though the energy, the chemistry, the, the you guys are so sensitive to each other. Like you guys almost communicate without saying anything. Um, you're on each other's minds all the time. And it's like, when do I start reaching out? When do I start saying something? And I do feel like, honestly, this is on the masculine side of things. Um, the masculine is unsure of when to reach out to this feminine, when to really say everything that they've been wanting to say, but they've been holding back out of a fear of vulnerability, out of a fear of showing weakness. I almost feel as there's some sort of sense as a damaged feminine side coming from this masculine. Like there's too much masculine energy, not enough feminine. And until they found or met that feminine, did that really awaken in them? And so it's got them a bit confused. And on whoever the feminine side is, whether that's you, Libra, or whether that's the other person, it's like as if like, well, when is this message going to come? I feel it. I know it's coming. I know I'm not making this shit up, but it's just not appearing yet. So what's real and what, what is real in the sense of what is practical, what's actually going to happen, not just me wanting, hoping, wishing, fantasizing about Crowning, we have the Queen of Swords. This is Libra energy, but it could also be you're dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Gemini, Aquarius, or a fellow Libra as yourself. It's almost as if I'm feeling like there's so much emotion here, but it's not being expressed because of the fact of, okay, well, I'm not going to be the only one um, you know, deciding or giving and showing my affection if it's not being reciprocated. 
But I do have to say, with the king and the queen of swords here, you guys are almost mirroring each other in a way where, again, when I said that that confusion's on both ends, but for different means. Um, that emotion's there, but it's being expressed differently. And with this, the king and the queen, for the queen being crowning and the king being rooted, I feel like the queen of swords energy knows what's up. She can sniff out the truth from anyone. And I'm saying she because it's just the queen or in the cards. But again, we're dealing with energy. This person has been through quite a bit to get to where they are now to be human lie detectors, okay? So, almost as if I'm feeling from the feminine side, it's like, cut the bullshit, just come out and say it. And I, I didn't mean to sound that aggressive, but it's almost as if that's how it feels. It's like, not aggressive, but I guess frustrating. Um, because it's just so, the, the, the bond is undeniable. As much as someone or some part of this connection wants to deny it. But maybe with that stone image, uh, stone bridge image I saw, it says if by stone by stone it's taking time to really build so it can come together. I don't know if I'm also getting a sense that some of you are long distance or in a um, physical distance away from this person. That could be the case. Um, but really, I feel the most from this is that what's being seen, what's crowning is, tell me the truth. Is this something you feel too? Is this something that we can work on, that we can grow from, that we can have growing pains together? Or is this something that I should just forget about? As much, as hard as it is going to be to forget about it, maybe I'll play your role and do the same thing and just think what's best logically. Now at the root of this, the King of Swords. The King of Swords is at the root of this and what I'm sensing and looking at this image, it's like as if, again, holding back. And I do feel strong masculine energy from this. Regardless of your sex, you can have a dominant masculine energy. And I'm feeling like the masculine, as much as the feminine, they know that the feminine is reaching out, whether it's literally through messages, literally hanging out with them physically, or just energetically. But the king's pulling back. The king's not showing any sort of expression. But he, f but he feels it because look how that foot is right under her bitty. So even if it's not like him, you know, reaching out in the way that we perceive one to reach out to show affection, they do it in their own way. So maybe it's like something, I don't know, like, like someone maybe seeing that like, Oh, hey, what are you doing? I'm bored. Do you want to hang out? Right? Instead of being like, look, I can't stop thinking about you. I, I want to see you. I want to be with you. They're not going to say that, but they are going to make the initiative to hang out with you because they feel that way. But instead of saying that, they're just going to be like, oh, let's hang out. I'm bored. You know, that type of energy is what I'm getting. Um, use your intuition to kind of discern what that may mean to you and your situation. But also... If this person has seen you naked, they like what they see, okay? And again, with that mothering energy, if this isn't a passed on loved one, then this could be just someone's mother. Somewhat, I don't, okay, for a very, very small amount of you, it could be someone's mother interfering. Or it's like someone's mom is trying to protect and is unsure of how this connection is going to play out since it seems like such a cat and mouse game. That's for a few of you, not all of you. You know what, I kind of want to see what, why 
this king is holding back or this masculine energy is holding back. Ooh. Why is this masculine energy holding back? I don't think they want me to reveal this, guys. Like, <laughs> I'm getting this energy of no, no. Don't say it. Like, well. Ooh. I, this is interesting because we have the Hierophant. So this could be a Taurus even or a Capricorn for me as a reader with the Hierophant. Um, but the Queen of Cups again. I'm feeling like, so as I was explaining about how this person's a go-getter, want goes for what they want, um, and that's what you find so sexy about them, right? Is that they work hard, they execute cleanly, and, you know... That is that, but I think clearly they're holding back their feelings for you, their emotions for you in some aspects. And they want to make sure I'm, I'm feeling the most from this connection here, or this combination here, is that they want to make sure that this is the commitment, this is the one. Because they're not about to waste their time if it isn't. And so... It may feel like they're putting you through some trial and error, through some obstacles, through some courses, not because they're like a, a manipulator, not because they want to like play these games with you. And if that's the case, then I'm not talking to you. Um, it's because they want to see if this is something that's loyal, stable, firm, committed. You know, again, I don't know if they had some childhood issues where maybe they had divorced parents or they didn't have a very traditional home. And so when they grew up, they were like, I know if I want to get involved with someone, it's going to be committed. It's going to be clear. It's going to be conventional, um, traditional type of commitment here. I'm not with the, you know, chaos. I'm not with someone who isn't going to put in the work or who's going to be a waste of my time, long-term, stability, foundation. So that's why I'm feeling like they're holding back. Because they're still trying to figure out if you really are the one for them, Libra or Crosswatcher. In the recent past, we do have the Three of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, you could have fire somewhere in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do feel like recently there was an instance where the spark was undeniable. The passion, the chemistry was hot. If you had sex with this person, it was bomb. And that's part of the reason why the energetic connection is so strong. Because spiritually and physically, you guys were on point. Others of you, you guys may have gone on a recent date with this person that was just exhilarating, ex exciting, um, you know, stimulating on both ends, both ends. Because look, that red ribbon is tied on both people. They felt the same way. So the magic is there. The magic is absolutely there. And the energetic connection is so strong. I can't emphasize it enough. So now it's like, you know, starting to make sense as the readings coming together as we're going further along. They, on their behalf, whoever is holding back, whoever's not expressing, even though you guys have off the chain chemistry, although everything that all the dates you go on, all the interactions you have are just stimulating, exciting, passionate, um, It's something within them, Libra, or within you that is still just like 100% sure. Just because of either past experiences, whether in previous relationships or childhood experiences, or it's just like this person really wants to know 110% that you're down for them. Even I'm looking back at this and seeing loyalty.
In the recent past, though, someone definitely... I, th I think, like, this is going to sound cheesy, but it's almost like there's this kiss that you guys shared that was just, like, the best kiss you ever had, or they thought you are the best kisser. Someone's a damn good kisser. In the near future, we have the Nine of Cups. Beautiful energy. I really do feel like, Libra, this is someone realizing finally understanding that this is it the connection that the two of you have is undeniable everything that you could wish for everything that you can want that can make you emotionally satisfied and i i have a feeling of saying this for a lot of you it's going to be the next time that you guys hang out or the next time you go on a date or the next time you communicate is when this person's going to come to that realization whether that's you, Libra, or the other person, I don't know. I'm hearing pomegranate. I don't know why that's coming about. Um, I know pomegranate's a very alluring sexual um, fruit. Maybe you guys drink pomegranate juice? Don't know. Have a pomegranate flavored something. But almost as if it's time now to really start to get these going, maybe the seeds of the pomegranate, really starting to plant those seeds to really manifest this into what the true outcome, the potential of this divine counterpart really has in store for both of you. Libra, in the position of where you are with this Eight of Swords, so, I mean, Libra, it's either you or if the roles are reversed, someone's up in their head about this. The more there's no action, the more someone worries if this is really it, if this is really true. I'm almost feeling like someone is worried that this may be a karmic or a karmic connection. Or, for a very small amount of you, there could be worried about the, a karmic connection you're currently in or that this other person's in. Again, I'm, I don't know why I'm picking up for some of you baby mama, baby daddy drama. Not all. Why are you, why is, why are you in your head? Why is the eight of swords here? Almost, okay. For some of you that are not in a commitment related, <laughs> committed relationship with this person yet. Um, if it's like you're on other dates or you're like, single meeting other people it's like you know that nothing compares to this person that you've met that you're that is i'm connecting with or in tune with in this connection and that's kind of something that you're worried about is like well if this person isn't the one how am i gonna get over this strong energetic connection that we both share why is the eight of swords here Nine of Pentacles. I almost feel like some of you, again, not all of you, but for some of you, it's like you're done being alone or you're done, you're worried about how much longer you have to wait for this person to come into your life or for this person to make that commitment or for this person to reach out because you're ready, you, you independent, you're stable, you have a good job, you have you know, all your bills paid, that's not something to worry about. It is about, okay, but what about my emotional needs? My spiritual needs? My, and I'm not saying you guys have to feel like you have to be in a relationship in order to put value to yourself. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that some of you are just like, okay, I've accomplished so much for myself. But now I need to receive love, the love that I know I can give, the love I know that is worth and valuable to me, that needs to come into my life now at this time. And others of you, it's like a fear of being single forever. And if that's not the case, then I do feel, and I'm picking up on another group here where it's like, I don't want to be single anymore I want you 
and it's not so much as like worried about being alone but it's more about like you're the one for me so why are we both single right now why can't we get this going type of energy some of you definitely have earth in your chart you could be virgo libra cuspers or you have a lot of earth taurus virgo capricorn in your chart somewhere interestingly enough for their energy the knave of pentacles so page of pentacles appears twice this energy of someone being too affectionate could definitely be coming from them or it's a confirmation libra that they are interested in you i do feel like this person wants to take you out wine tasting maybe or they brought over a bottle of wine that you guys have shared or they want to will ask in the future um they find you like completely satisfying libra I do have this thing of saying, make sure though, I, I do get the sense that this person likes to be in control, um, especially with the uh, Emperor and the King of Swords. Um, make sure that this person knows that they're not going to have their way all the time, 100%. That this isn't, um, you know, we all have flaws, we all have things that aren't the brightest part of ourselves. Um, so make sure that this person, it's something that um, isn't so fixed where they're unable to change out of this kind of controlling energy. You can be a boss, you can be um, as masculine and of an energy as you want, but don't think that that means you can boss me around type of thing. But for most of you, this person has a lot of interest in you. And they're not expressing that. They're not showing that, right? That face is covered. Poker face. Um, but they have a lot, of, a lot, a lot of desire to grow this, Libra. It's just, again, seeing if it's worth their time. I know that sounds kind of bad. I'm not meaning it to sound as bad as it sounds. But this person doesn't waste their time. And... I do have to say, though, the more they're getting to know you, the more that they're spending time with you, they're coming to that realization that this isn't a waste of time and that this is something that they can invest in. So that's something that I should communicate, communicate clearly. Highest hopes is the star. Beautiful energy here. This is dreams come true. This is the nine of, uh, nine of cups on like its higher ascended level fulfillment, um, destiny, that this connection was in fact destined to happen, destined to manifest, which, you know, strongly from even seeing the white wings in the beginning, I do feel like it is. I do feel like this is part of your path. You both were meant to be in each other's lives for a reason strongly I do feel that as much as one really is uncomfortable with quote unquote vulnerability comfortable with expressing their desires their wishes their dreams the more that this can excel and grow I just saw a shooting star. I don't know if you guys have seen a shooting star or if someone has like a shooting star image somewhere in their house, like a tattoo of one. But it's like, really you want these dreams to come true. That this is something that both of you are really wishing and wanting and manifesting is the highest hopes. This is Aquarian energy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Could have it in your chart. Interestingly enough, Deep of Fears is Ten of Cups, but again, this, <laughs> as interesting as it is, it makes sense because as I was saying, the masculine energy is not used, or not used to that affectionate, emotional, partaking, participation, I don't know what you want to call it, um, but at the same time, they know they can't deny this. They know they can't deny this irresistible 
connection especially to the feminine. The feminine knows that this is something to grow and to manifest. It's just the masculine energy I'm strongly feeling is the one that still needs to figure this out and realize that being emotionally secure, emotionally expressive, emotionally satisfied does not mean you're giving up any other sort of security within yourself, masculinity within yourself, um, weakness with, you know, you're not showing weakness out of that. It's very interesting. For the likely outcome of the situation, we're going to go ahead and take that to Vimeo. So if you're interested in joining me for the extended reading, go ahead and check the description box to see the likely outcome of this. But before we go, Libra, I will pull a card. Um, I'm going to ask whoever you're energetically connected to, whoever you're feeling a lot of love for or are interested in, to help gain you some clarification in how they feel what they want to say that maybe they haven't clearly been saying. How do they feel about Libra? How do they feel about this connection with Libra? How do they feel about Libra and this connection with Libra? very soon wow okay yeah so clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now i feel like this is a message for whoever is holding back you know like i feel like and understand if you want to make sure that this person is a hundred but don't wait too long to while the interest fades as strong as this energetic connection is, as strong as the chemistry is between the two of you, someone's only going to wait for so long until, let me see, at the bottom of the deck, until they realize they're going to love themselves first before waiting for your permission to go and receive the love they've been waiting for you from. They may just go ahead and go have it with someone else, which could be part of the fear of this Ten of Cups that I was um, analyzing earlier. It's like, Maybe I'll have my Ten of Cups elsewhere and it's not with this person. They're unwilling to open up. They're unwilling to share, even though it's so undeniable. Um, I'm almost getting like this feeling that someone's in denial about this connection. Um, but very, very soon, make your decision or else I'm just going to go do me, do my thing, and see where I can manifest elsewhere as difficult as it is. Because this is, again, such a strong divine counterpart connection we have here so make your choice wisely is what i'm hearing from this all right all right libra we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading if this resonated with you libra please please comment like share and subscribe i love you libra i wish you all the best if you want to know the outcome check the description box i love you guys take care